Welcome back to No Sticks, No Bricks. This week we've got another special video for you guys. You know, we don't do a lot of product review videos. In fact, we turn them down almost daily. But when a company reaches out that actually has something to offer that will help not only us, but it will help you guys, our RV community, then it's something that we always consider. But this time, Camco reached out to us a couple weeks ago. They have actually have a brand new Pure Taste filter. They sent us a box of goodies and we're gonna open it up and see what's in the box and then we're gonna test it and review it for you guys. Now, if you've spent time in RV parks or campgrounds, then you've probably seen the blue water filters that are attached to everybody's spigots. They're typically throughout the campground. Some people do have elaborate water filtration systems, but we don't. We are pretty basic. So I'm actually kind of excited to try out this brand new filter. So let's see what's in the box. It's like Ooh. a Christmas present. <laughs> oh. Ooh, what do we got in there? A little card. Hey, they gave us this card. Nice. Yeah. That's a nice touch. All right. So what's under this thing here? Oh, we've got a new hose. New hose. More. So that's Camco's Evo Flex drinking water hose. All right, we also got Camco's adjustable water pressure regulator. That's nice. We'll uh, do a pressure test as well. See what the difference is before and after installing the filter. Of course, last but not least is the new and improved Taste Pure water filter. So this is pretty cool. New and improved, it just came out a couple weeks ago. I've actually got one of their older filters. So while you open that up, let me see if I can find the older filter. Okay. That way we can compare the two. Let's see. I got too much crap in here. Ah, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right, so there is their older model. So let's compare it to the new one. So let's see this filter, let's compare it to the two. So here's the, the bottom one is the older one and then of course the newer one is on top. So cool, it's got different paper on it. Um, the body of it pretty much looks same color. Same. It's the inside that's the big difference though. All right, what you got there? Certificate of performance. Oh, so this thing is certified. Yep. Certified for lead free. Lead Good. Free. So it is NSF and ANSI compliant certified. Nice, so it does actually go through like a quality assurance process to make sure that we're just not getting something that doesn't work like it's supposed to. Yeah. Cool. All right, so it's got all these certifications, but what does that actually mean? <laughs> Good question, because that's what I wanted to know. I was like, what does that mean? So one, it's compliant, meaning that it's there's no harmful chemicals or materials that were used in the manufacturing. Well, that's good, because I don't really want those going into my body anyway. Exactly. And then for the certification, I guess it says it certifies the removal of lead contaminants in water that would pose a risk to human health. Okay. And it removes undesirable characteristics like cloudiness, taste, and odors. There's nothing worse than getting a glass of water and it looks like milk. Yeah, no doubt. And we've been on the road for three years and I don't even know how many different RV parks that we've been to and there's definitely been some milk water at some of those. Yeah, or it comes out all like dirt or mud comes through it or I don't know. It's, I've seen some disgusting stuff. That's why yeah. I don't drink tap water. And Jen's a water snob. <laughs> and that's why when we do the water taste test, she's doing it. <laughs> all right, one last thing in the box. What's that? The little adapter. Oh, sweet. No kink. No kinks. But it's flexible. Nice. All right, so the inside of the filter is the game changer. It actually has a six step filtration technology. Um, the first step, it actually goes through this uh, filter hose washer, keeps uh, debris and sediment out. And then it goes through another pre-filtration layer, a activated carbon layer. This is what reduces the bad taste, odor, sediment, that kind of stuff. Nobody wants rotten egg smell in their water. We've had that before when we go into house. And then the superior KDF additive, which protects against the growth of bacteria, fungus, and mold, which is definitely good. You don't want that going in your body as well. And number five, it's got this post filtration layer that prevents foam barrier. And then finally, it's got this spun polypropylene filter, which is a 20 micron filter that removes particles. So yeah, you can see all the different little layers in this that uh, filters this water before it gets to you. 
another thing is every three months you should replace these filters to reduce, you know, that weird taste or the bad eggs. The bad eggs. So if you start to get that, then it's probably an indication that your filter is not working like it should and it should right. be replaced. All right, so now we're at the uh, water spigot uh, next to our RV, and uh, Jennifer is going to be our taste tester. So we got to get some water out of the spigot before we put the filter on. Uh, I'm going to drink directly from the spigot. <laughs> Just a taste test. Oh, Just a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Ugh, that's going to be a lot for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but don't drink it now. Let's wait until we get the filtered water, and then you can taste them back to back. Okay. I think it'll be more accurate. Okay. All right, so let's bust open this pressure regulator. Oh, sorry. Did that hit you? It did. My bad. <laughs> All right, so cool. That'll work. And then you adjust the pressure right there with that little um, screw on top. It just takes a flathead screw to adjust it up and down. I usually like our water pressure around 60, 65, 70. You just gotta make sure you look up the specs for your RV and see what your hoses are rated for. Uh, but usually 60, 65, somewhere in there is a, is a good one. All right, so let's hook this bad boy up. All right, so the old, we can do a pressure test too. We'll do a before and after pressure test. So let's do that before we hook the filter up. All right, so I already got my hose already ran, so I'm just gonna use my hose instead of theirs, but let's do a pressure test. Let's hook this up. Let's see what kind of pressure we get for installing the filter. Because I have heard of people complaining about losing a lot of pressure once they install a filter. All right, so we're not gonna touch the adjustment screw so we can get an accurate reading on both sides, so. Right now it's reading at 42, 44, about 46 PSI. So 46 PSI before the filter. Let's see what it is after the filter. Now some people will put the pressure valve before the filter, but I want that filtered water running through the internal parts of my pressure valve just to make sure that it, you know, there's no sediment or junk going through this thing. So the life lasts a little bit longer on this. All right, so let's start with the old flexible hose here. This actually, comes in handy in a lot of RV parks we've been to. There are some RV parks where their spigot is way down here and you can't even get your filter on because it'll hit the ground. So this at least will give you some flexibility to be able to install that filter still. All right, so these filters, they do come with caps. So you save these caps. The mistake I've always made is I throw these things away right away. But on travel days, when I gotta store this filter, I put these caps back on and keep junk from getting in and out. It keeps water from leaking everywhere. So hold on to these caps. We were what, at 46, right? Yep. All right, let's see what it got now. So it looks like it's at 42, four, five, exactly the same, 46 PSI. We didn't lose any pressure at all. Okay, so now that we got everything hooked up, Let's go let the water run for a few minutes so the water can get through that filtration process, take another sample, and Jen can determine whether she can taste a difference or not. Are you excited about the tap water? I'm not excited about the tap water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll let that water flow a little bit. Make sure we get the actual pure taste filter water coming through our tap. There it goes. Yeah. There's the air from disconnecting it. And so now we know after that, it should be uh, the water that's going through the filter. All right, should be good now. All right, so now, Jennifer doesn't know this, but I'm going to switch the glasses up. She's not gonna know which one's which, <laughs> but I will. <laughs> oh yeah, Jennifer, see, she's trying to cheat. She put more water in the, the second sample, so now we're gonna have to dump a little bit out. We gotta make this even. There we go. All right, so let's mix them up. Oh boy. <laughs> Are you able to follow it? No. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. All right, there we go. All right, so go ahead and try that one. Hold on. Any smells? Kind of smells like chlorine a little bit. It does? That's kind of weird. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> you can do it. What do you think? 
It's all right. All right? Yeah. Okay. It's warm. It's warm. Yeah. <laughs> all right. How about the second? Do you remember which glasses? I do. Okay. Yep. How's that one smell? It doesn't smell like anything. Uh huh. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes a little bit better than that one. Better? It does. Well, that one is the Pure Taste Cam Co Water Filter <laughs> one. So. I'm glad that that worked out that way. Otherwise, this video yeah. probably wouldn't have launched. <laughs> yeah, this one, it's got like a, it does kind of smells like chlorine bleach in the water a little bit. Mm, That's the water. Try. Let me see. It's got a smell to yep. it. Yep. Kind of smells like the pool. Yeah. Let me try. Now, I did grow up on a farm. I'll pretty much drink anything. But Jennifer has turned me into a little bit of a water snob. <laughs> Yeah, oh, definitely. You can definitely taste the difference. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was like pool water, kind of. It's different. It's it weird. Is. So, there you go. Taste test approved by Jen the Water Snob. All right.